Hey, we're Dreamers of the Ghetto and um, from Indiana, and you can check out our new album released on Temporary Residence called en Enemy Lover. The formation of the band is was kind of we were we we demoed out like, all the songs before we ever went in the studio. We had just had a, a small budget a sh in a short amount of time, so we we demoed all the songs out beforehand that we thought, and then went and recorded them. And that stemmed all from a, a live show. Uh, it was like the idea initially was to um, record like this like live show of all these these songs in this particular you know order you know, and then of course kind of adapt it to like an album. And so the writing process you know just came from all different types of collaborations. Some of it Jonathan and I were from older like kind of more like MIDI kind of demos and transposing um, melodies and ideas that we really loved. Uh, some of it was more spontaneous, you know, like on the spot collaboration. But it really came together when we kind of like chose the songs based on what we liked live, like to play live and like to hear live, and then, and then started demoing those out. We really wanted an album that we could play live, that every song was dynamic and interesting and powerful live as well as you know a beautiful album so i think we i think we did that we wanted only on the album what we were actually performing and doing there's no additional tracks or um, and you know, we didn't fly any any producers from LA. It was very, you know, it's very humble. Um, and then meeting Jeremy and actually him wanting to release the album as is, um, and uh, then you know, some uh, remixed it, which was a pretty vital part of the whole of the whole release. We played a string of shows in New York City um, almost a year ago, last January, and. Uh, um, he came to all of them. We played four shows and he came to every single one. And we got to hang out with him and talk to him and basically sort of started there. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things that I think appealed to us so much was that he, he, he liked it as it was. It, wasn't, it didn't have to be polished or changed in any way. We weren't going for, for like a particular sound like really was like all of our parts together you know and like that's strengths and weaknesses you know and you put your best foot forward we never go into a, a song or anything like that with like an idea like let's write a song like this or write a song like this band or that band like that's never been our our thing we just like we usually typically start playing some music and if we if we like it or even like part of it like we continue with it until it becomes a song and ends up becoming, you know, what you're hearing. <laughs> You never know if, if the new stuff that you're working on is ultimately going to make it on an album or not, but we do. We still keep working, yeah. always. I feel like we're always coming up with something new, but it's hard to say if it's going to be made into anything physical or, you yeah. know. Uh, March and April is when our next set of dates are, are coming out, and we have a few, and there's probably going to be more. Oh.